Let's jump right into it. Before we start talking about Vegas, I got to ask a couple questions about All Stars. Derek, have you buried the hatchet with India? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh-oh. Uh, you know, I I did I I did appreciate her apology and I was happy that that uh that that made the cut. Uh, yeah. And I do believe that people can change. I do think that when you watch yourself back on TV, it is a wake up call. And um, I know that All Stars is a game and a lot of people are gonna play uh, the game differently. Uh, what I don't agree with is, uh, is being dishonest and, and lying while you're playing. So right. uh, for me, I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt and hope that when I watched it back, that she was actually a changed person. Mm -hmm. And um, and all we found out is that uh, Alexis became a victim as well. So right. I feel like we are all there's many survivors in uh, in her track record. I, I warned everybody. I walked in and I, I like I said I'm too real to be fake. And when I see someone that I'm not uh, ready to see, I don't have a poker face, even though I'm from Vegas. Uh, and so I did warn the girls that this is a liar, this is someone two-faced, and, um, you know, I, it went the way that it went, and she did what she thought she needed to do to stay. And uh, it did actually bring Alexis and I closer. I know that the first episode, uh, Alexis was a little, you know, weary of me. And that's uh, one thing I am not as a liar. And I think anybody that I've ever worked with uh, knows that. And I, I, I would never have made a decision to put a lie out there that actually did cost Alexis a spot in the top three and uh, potentially cost her $100,000. Right. So I really do hope that people realize that you're messing with someone's career if you're going on all stars and you're not being truthful while playing the game it's one thing to be entertaining it's another thing to flat out lie and we saw the outcome right well the outcome was shea coulee won what do you guys Yay! think of her as our newly crowned all star love stunning gorgeous beautiful amazing, amazing. <laughs> amazing. now um naomi you had a controversial lipstick reveal in your season of All Stars. Do you feel like the this previous season didn't play the game as well as you may have by kicking off a strong competitor? Um, I appreciate that you said I played the game well. And I definitely think that I did. I would say that if I was on season two of All Stars or if I was on this most past season, I would have definitely eliminated Alaska. I would have definitely have eliminated Shay. Like, if I want to go in there and win the crown, why the hell would I give the top girl a chance to continue on for the next week? That's just not how I play the game. Unfortunately, I was hoping that someone on All Stars 5 would have the moxie to do it for the season. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. We got a very predictable season. And yeah, everyone was pretty fair with how they kicked people off. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell is that? I know. I, if I won, I'd be like, Shea Coulee, Juju -ju <laughs> out. Yeah. Get the get out of here. Like, let's just have Angina and Mayhem go to the end, and you guys can just give me my damn crown. Oh, OK. I love it. Now, Vanjie. Not the girls sending themselves home. <laughs> the two that sent themselves Weak. home. <laughs> Weak. That was True. Like, Vanjie, you came back as an assassin. What was that experience like? Child, I was like, uh, who? Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, when they call, I'll come, I'll come around and over there. Um, it was just crazy. I didn't really know what was gonna happen. They didn't really give me too much info. Right. Um, yeah, but getting <laughs> getting asked to come back was like, you know, I love coming back and seeing everybody and getting to see the girls. I wish Derek was still there. Um, but it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's a crown in and of itself to be called a lip sync assassin. Now, did you feel that, yeah. right? Huh? Right, but it didn't come with the $10,000 cash. <laughs> right, I'm like, well, how are they gonna do all of this and give you all these titles you don't get um, a little money? Right. 
Did you feel the need to let the other queen win because you weren't going to be winning the money? No, because I have an ego and I want to make sure I look good. So there's no way in hell I'm going to go on there and not try. If it was Alexis, I probably would sit there and let her take the money. So, you know, then I'd be like, when you get back, you get right. Up. Yeah. Um, but no, you know, you have to perform. You don't want to go on there and look crazy. No, totally. Now, Cameron, we want to see you on All Stars. Would you do it? He should have been a, uh, they should have brought her to lipstick, uh, being a lipstick assassin. Yes, I was Absolutely, waiting. Absolutely, I agree. I mean, we were waiting. Um, yeah, I would love to go. I think, um, I think it's a career choice to go sooner rather than later. Sometimes that works out for girls. Sometimes it doesn't. For right. me, I know that my uh, portrayal on season ten and my performance was not up to par with what it would be now. And I've taken that time in the past two years to grow as an entertainer and as a person. And I think you would see a much different person competing on an all-star season. So I think it is almost that time. Almost that time. So if they invite Ooh. you for six, would you say yes? If they invite me for six? Um, yeah. I would say, I would say, yeah. I, four and five were like, no, absolutely not for me. Right. Um, I think six and, you know, if the show may go on, yeah, I think it's time that we see Carl Michaels um, snatch a crown. 